hello guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing great so today i'm going to show you guys how to design a logo so now um let's get started delete the initial text and then click on this icon and then click on shapes to um import your circle shapes all right so now i increase um reduce the few radius to zero and then increase the stroke width to 15 and then increase the circle then use the relative position to position your circle at the center. The next thing to do is to click on shape again and then pick triangle. Then reduce the opacity to zero as usual and then increase the stroke width to 15. And then increase the, um, the rectangle, sorry, the triangle. And then you use this to rotate the, the triangle or you can just go to rotate icon and rotate it. So let's edit this and increase the stroke width to 20 because I think this is too small. And then do the same thing to the circle and stroke. So head to layer and then pick the circle. And then increase the stroke to 20 also. And then place both at the center. So um place this at the center first and then use the position tool to draw it down a bit so cruise it to the maximum and then draw it down so after this you can click to the back to move the um triangle to the back of the circle and then Um, use the shape to also to bring another circle to cover up the, the inner part of the circle so so make sure um, this the, the, the second circle is covering the first circle so then use the position to, to align both circles at the center by clicking the top and the bottom and then do the same thing to the stroke um, to the circle with stroke make sure they are aligned so there won't be any spaces so after that click on the triangle and um, and then enable the stroke use and increase the stroke width to around six or five and then after this um use the position icon to increase or decrease it a bit so um let's um make this the triangle to be a little bit covered by the circle so you just need to go back or just use portion two to draw it back and then match both layers the three layers together then after doing this click um on the background and lock uh, i click on layer and lock and then click on shape to import another um circle shape so reduce the opacity to zero and then increase the stroke width to 15 also and then reduce it using the um the points at the edges of at the circumference of the circle and then use the relative position to position all at the centers so after doing this you can then write your test so writing your test um so type in your test here So after typing your text, change the initial color from white to black by clicking the color icon and then choosing black as the color. Now the next thing to do now is to head to the A, B icon and then select a font. So for the, this is the keys of this font, or you can just use any other font. And now you use the, the bending tool to bend your, um, your text. So and then use the... Um, the spacing to uh, space out the letters of the text and then you use this size icon to reduce the um the size to fit the circle um the circle stroke so you can then use um the bending to reduce it a bit and then use the position um, tool to position the test at the center of the, of the circle. So you just copy this and then write the other test, which is design. 
and then move it um move it below and then use the bending to to bend it the other way around. the other way around yes bend it this way and then you can also use the rotate icon to rotate the test to fit in the circle So you can also use the position tool or the position to make sure everything is aligned at the center. So after doing this, you just head to um, the shape tool and then um, import the star shape. So click on the star and then change the color of the star to black. It, and then reduce it using the points um, at the edges of the star, reduce it to fit in the inner circle. And then position it at the center after doing this you can then copy it and then place it at the other side of this of the circle so make sure the um the edges of the both circle are aligned so place it to be aligned and then move it to the other side of the circle using the position um, icon Guys, the next thing to do after this, in which which I omitted doing this video, is to import your logo and then place it at the center. So it's something very easy to just click on this import and then import your logo and then place it at the center of the circle. Actually, I forgot to do this um, while making this video. So after that, just merge all these layers, click on layers and merge everything together and head to the erase color icon. So guys, once you enable this, it automatically erases the white part. So you just increase tolerance to fit it. And then the next thing to do now is to merge a shape or a test outside the design with it. So just move the shape outside and then merge it together with the design so you can be able to put textures on this design. So and then head to texture and then use the te the color, the texture color of the background we are going to use. So click on this where you save your background and then use the color of the background. So you just have to reduce this. To pick a color just reduce it to a smaller size in order to pick um the color of the background just pick the light color not with the lines the light color without the lines so pick those pick that one so gently do it and then reduce it to pick only that color so now you can click okay when you've gotten the right color then enable this then the next thing to do now is to head to reduce this and then head to so guys if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed subscribe and um, hit the notification icon so you can be notified whenever i release a new video thank you um this icon and then click on the 3d to enable 3d on this um design so click enable it and then reduce the depth and um, depth to eight and then um Increase the darken level a bit. So increase the dark level a bit and then um work with the light um, angle to get um a good angle and then increase the shadow. So guys, we are still coming back again. So the next thing to do is click on import and then import your background choose the um 16 ratio 9 radius that's the size of your design and then increase use the relative size to increase the this and then move it to the back so guys lock the background layer and then click on the design and then go back to the 3d shape the 3d um effect icon so the next thing to do now is to change your Y rotation to minus 30 degrees which is the angle of the background so make sure it's at minus 30 degrees alright so after this now the next thing we have to do now is to increase our darkening level and then increase our shadow and then rotate this now so increase our darken level now and then enable shadow effect on it so after this 
you increase the dark level a bit to make it more darker and then use a light angle to get a very good um, view so as you can see it is nice now from here now you can then save your design thanks for watching subscribe